So the first step here into making our cheesecake cake pops is getting our Jello no bake cheesecake. And what we gotta do first is we gotta take the crust part out. And I already dumped it into my container, as you guys can see here. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar to the mix. Next up, I'm going to add in my very melted butter. I have about five tablespoons of our melted butter. I already measured it up and melted it in my microwave. Next up, we're gonna take our spatula and we're gonna lightly mix it, but really what we're going to do here is we're actually going to build a cheesecake like we'd actually make one. So this is going to be our crust and we're going to go ahead and pat that down. Once it's all mixed up. Don't worry about being perfect. We're gonna make these into balls anyway, but you guys can see it looks like the bottom of a cheesecake. Now it's time to add the filling to our cheesecake cake pops. We're going to go ahead and pour out this mixture and add two cups of milk. I'm just gonna mix this in a different bowl so you guys can exactly see what I'm doing here. Next up, I'm gonna add one and one half cups of milk. Give it a good stir with your spatula. It's okay if there's a little bit of that crust batter in there. And we're just gonna pour it right on top of our crust. To top it off, as an extra, you definitely don't have to, I'm gonna actually add some cherry filling right on top because I love cheesecake with any type of fruit. Okay guys, we are done with this part of our tutorial for our cheesecake cake pops. Next up, all we gotta do is pop this in the fridge for overnight. Overnight really helps it set up and get more solid and that's gonna be great when we're turning these into cake pops. So my no-bake cheesecake has been sitting up overnight in my freezer and it's ready to be turned into delicious cake balls. This part is pretty messy, so if you guys want to put on gloves, you can, but you know what, I'm just gonna dive right in. So I have my mixing bowl here, I have my spatula to help me out, and I'm just gonna mix it up. If you want, at this point, you of course can use more cherries or less cherries, whatever you guys want. Remember, that cherries is an optional thing, but I just really think that it adds something to it. And if you guys are a little bit adventurous, you can use your hands to stir everything up. I'm just gonna go ahead and add our parchment paper to our flat surface. This is just a serving tray, but of course you can use a plate or a cooking sheet. And we're gonna pop that in the freezer. All right guys, so I have my cake balls all set here and I gotta go wash my hands and also pop these in the fridge. I'm gonna leave them in there about, for about 30 minutes. Of course, you guys can adjust it, see if you need to take it longer or shorter, but 30 minutes is what I'm gonna do and I'll see you back after that. Welcome back guys. Okay, so our little cake ball pops have set up in the freezer and they're ready to be decorated. So first things first is we gotta pop a stick in them. And once you're feeling good about it, of course you guys can always pop this in the freezer too for about 10 minutes, but this feels pretty firm to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add our candy melts. I used, again, just our plain vanilla, but of course you guys can use whatever flavor you want. Because our cake is a little bit softer than our other cakes, you know, it is cheesecake after all, I'm gonna use my spoon to adhere our frosting on top of it instead of swirling it inside of the candy melts. Okay, so our cake pops have reached this stage and you guys know what's next. We're gonna add some sprinkles to really set this look over the top. And there you have it, the cheesecake cake pop. It's super delicious and yummy and it's sure to satisfy any cheesecake lover in your life. Enjoy. And we have another fun tutorial for you. This one I'm really excited about because it's cookie dough. And I love cookie dough. I don't know about you guys, but I'm obsessed with it. I, that's my favorite part of baking. Give me the dough, I'd rather have that than the cookies, right? 